Hello, my beautiful tribe. How the devil are you doing? I'm going to be doing a celebrity snoop. And the reason I'm doing this particular celebrity is because I watched her on a film the other day. I just caught the end of it. And um, I don't know why. I just wanted to connect with her to see what her energy was like. So I just kind of concentrated on her for 10 minutes and kind of um, linked up with her. And let's see how we get on with Whitney Houston. I'm going to be using my QR tarot cards. Yay, Australia! You are so grateful. I've had so many emails from you. Oh God, I've got so many emails to get through because I've been away for a few days. And yay, Australia, you're very welcome. Canada next if we can. It's down to expense and customs laws that makes it a complete nightmare. I'm not going to lie. Um, so what we're going to be doing is... I most probably fast forward this bit for you, okay? Um, but let's have a look and do a Celtic cross for Whitney Houston. And let's see how we get on. Above, below. Thank you. I'm going to be doing some clarifiers with my um, angel tarot cards if I need to. Let's just see what was going on. In her mind, her energy. She really did pass how she did. So it's just been bugging me since I watched her. It's, I don't know about you, but as an empath, you kind of really feel how people, you know, people's pain and how they pass and all the rest of it. And just watching her, you know, downward spiral after she was with Bobby Brown was just terrific, wasn't it? To see. Thank you. Final outcome, please around the time of her physical passing would be lovely thank you what happened? okay let's have a look so her the, the circumstances around where she was um just about to pass i think we're going to go back mostly about 24 hours before 48 hours before i feel um but her, it felt like her, her, her energy at the time, the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords has cut all of emotional um, thought processes out. His intellect is completely sorted. Um, he knows where he is. He knows what he's doing. And he is he's not allowing his heart to rule his head. It's like he literally is... His intellect is completely, I'm going to do that and I'm not going to take into account any other people. So this is currently telling me that she really did want to do what she wanted and didn't really care about the outcome. You know, that he's, he's very, he's not, he hasn't got a lot of emotion, the King of Swords. He's, he's more like, I'm thinking, I'm ruling with a solid iron, you know, sword and I'm balanced and I've sorted everything I need to sort out in my head. I am, I really know where I'm going. And so she honestly thought that, you know, she honestly thought that by the looks of it, that she kind of was in control. But we'll have a look in a minute. What was crossing her? Say lack of strength, lack of ability to endure, lack of... Um, Lack of kind of knowing enough's enough. Lack of um, willpower. She was very weak at the time, um, it feels like. And this was what was crossing her, remember? So this is hindered. This is reversed almost. And it's like there was no endurance there anymore. She just, um, she thought she had it all sorted in her head. She really didn't care what was going on. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting with her at the moment. There was just complete lack of willpower and strength to continue. The surrounding um, energies were, it feels like, that she wanted to manifest um, future events. She wanted to create things in the future. It feels like... Um, she was quite, you know, um, yeah, so that she was quite focused on what what's going to happen next. So perhaps she was, I, I feel like I'm getting two feelings here. One is that her thought process was, I've got this sorted, I've got it, I've got it controlled, I've got, you know, what I need to do. But the weakness is the addiction. And I feel like she almost kidded herself like most addicts do that it was manageable and it was controllable. So straight away, I could be wrong with the rest of the reading, but straight away I'm feeling this was complete accidental overdose. It wasn't intended. It wasn't, I've had enough and I'm going to overtake it. I, I just feel that she felt she was in control. She felt that she was balanced and everything was right. Um, but the lack of strength shows me addiction. Um, and I just feel like she was like, no, I'm, I'm going to carry on. I, I can manifest anything I want. And it was a bit of denial going on there, which is very, um, very commonplace for addicts. Let's have a look. So this is the underlying thing that she wanted to happen. Death. When people look at the death card, they're like, oh, 
oh my god it means i'm dead oh someone's gonna die it doesn't mean that at all it's quite a fortuitous card actually so her subconscious we're looking at at the moment um was that she was just gonna try and get you know the end of an era she'd had a bad run for the last 10 years perhaps and she's thinking no i'm gonna move forward this was her subconscious she, she wanted to drive herself forward and continue manifesting perhaps she was someone that actually did want to really change her life she really did want to kind of draw a line under it and just say, right, that was my old life and this is the new, which is what the death card's all about. It's about newness, it's about change, it's about letting go of the old and going forward. So perhaps she was in an energy of feeling quite positive, feeling like she was going to get in control, feeling that she wasn't going to take any more shite and just go for it. But, you know, you've got the hinder here of the strength and I honestly think that represents her weakness around drugs and alcohol. Um, in her past... Yeah, listen, I think she was just trying to move on, right? I feel like from a relationship with Bobby Brown, I feel like perhaps that she was moving on from, I don't know if it was a violent relationship as well, but it was certainly manipulated. Um, and I feel like in the past, she was desperately trying to move away from turbulent waters to safer waters. The problem is, is that those swords are most significant to me at the moment because with these swords on the, on the Six of Swords, they... Um, and I always say this, they weigh heavily in the boat and they represent your previous um, life situation, what you need to get rid of, what you need to come away from. And the thing is, is that she um, wasn't letting go of the past. She wasn't moving on. She wasn't perhaps dealing with her addiction. She wasn't dealing with her illness, um, i.e. perhaps mental illness as well. And I just feel blessed that she, she was tr desperately trying to right herself and get herself back on track. Um, but those swords weigh too heavy. They weigh too heavy. I really do feel, and this is really surprising me, to be fair, because I, I thought she'd just be like low and desperate, and but she wasn't. She honestly thought, I'm going to recreate myself. I'm going to get myself out of this. And it's all manageable. That really surprises me. I love doing these cards because they do surprise me because I have my own thing. As I said before, when I do my psychic detective um, column, I just think, oh, yeah, it's that. And then when I actually get into it, I'm like, oh, my God, it's a completely different answer. So, for, oh, my God, this is so right. So the near future, she was making plans. This is the Wheel of Fortune. She was jumping on opportunities. She was in networking um, energy here. She was in a situation where she goes, I'm going to like get myself back up there again. I really do feel this. If anything, I feel she's in quite a good mood. So if anything, I feel that she was almost celebratory. I thought, I'm going to have a bit of, you know, whatever it was she had. I think it was crack cocaine. Um, just to, yeah, get me in the mood because I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to go. And I do think there was possibilities of talks or people were, you know, in talks with her, giving her opportunities to rewrite herself, to reconnect with herself. Um, most people on the proviso that she did do rehab or go into some really strong, solid type of um, rehabilitation. Unfortunately... Um, Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. She she saw from this energy, I, and I've just seen the next card, I've just turned it over, right? She saw this addiction as just like having a glass of wine before you go out, having a little cheeky Prosecco, because she's, she's spending time celebrating friendship, she's um, socialising, she's having time away, she's chilling out, she's partying, so she really felt like she was in control, and she was happy there's no there's no sign of her being troubled or you know thinking i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this um and not care if i overdose or not it's just that just doesn't come into it it's such a tragedy the ace of pentacles so this is um things that are going to happen beyond her control and the ace of pentacles is new beginnings of money abundance there's new growth being so she she i think there must have been talks or plans to kind of get someone's going to get hold of her and kind of reshape her and bring her back to her former glory before it was too late, but obviously it was too late. But she was, she had views that there was going to be new money coming in, that she was going to t create new products that were going to bring in further abundance and security for her. Absolutely 100%, because now you've got three of pentacles, which means that she was in talks with a third party or collaborations, talking with people to gain uh, money, finance, career status back. She was definitely in talks, okay? Um, our hopes and fears were, she hoped that the collaborations would work. The fear is, is that, you know they it wouldn't interest her or it wouldn't give her the pa same passion motivation she had for drinking alcohol but definitely 
there was some sort of talks involved here where she felt that it was going to change everything for her and the potential outcome was she literally i said what happened around her death what what was it that and she just was taking some time out she just needed a bit of solace that night and so she's just getting ready um she just needed some time out and on top of the fact that i feel that there were opportunities being offered to her and she obviously had in her head yep yeah, i'm gonna do these this is all gonna be good i'm gonna be back to where i was um and so she kind of pulled herself out um of away from people perhaps she thought i'm gonna have a nice night night getting ready because i do feel i'm ready to go out i haven't really seen um any documentaries or anything about all i know is that she was found dead in a bath and she had drugs in her system. That's all I know. And it's, you know, that's what I want to do. I don't want to know the in-depth in case I end up feeling the need to do these sort of readings. But the solace card there is like, I'm taking time out, I'm chilling out. And I just feel like she was getting ready for somewhere as opposed to just having a bath. I was going to say a cup of tea and a biscuit, but that's not appropriate, is it? Because it didn't happen. Um, so let's just do a few clarifiers. I just want to see um what she was trying to manifest you know with this card the magician i feel like she was trying to manifest something or she was let's see what it says i'll, I'll just do the clarifiers with the angel tarot cards oh hello lovers it's interesting isn't it so perhaps she was looking at dating again i don't even know if she was single i've got no clue and i don't want to know but she was manifesting either new relationships or um perhaps a new relationship as in you know romantic she definitely was trying to get duality she was trying to get flow back in her life she was trying to get some form of control back in her life so she's trying to manifest that and i think she was looking to find a really nice man or to get back in a relationship with someone that was like you know totally in control of themselves that she could have a healthy relationship whether she might have been inv even involved with someone I'm not, i really don't know but yeah she was trying to manifest some sort of close relationship there um yeah and look in in in, in this set actually look good health I made me look again. So I think she was thinking, yep, yeah, I'm going to get myself back out there. I never knew that. Absolutely gutted. I listened to her albums. I'm like, wow. The Wheel of Fortune, please. Oh, shut the front door. Holy shit. Do you know what what did i just say the wheel of fortune please what's come up the wheel and this is the wheel of fortune in this tap in this tarot set she was definitely there were opportunities around the corner or there was opportunities she was already aware of that were going to try and get her back on track and i feel like if anything she took what she took out of celebrating um and felt euphoric so she thought i'm gonna have a cheeky little you know um whatever she did can you believe that shut up out of all these cards over like nearly 200 cards it's just ridiculous well no it's not really it's i can't remember how many's in these 78 160 170 cards okay so there was definitely opportunity on the horizon thank you for backing it up for me my darlings fortune was on her side as far as she could see tell me about the collaboration please tell me about the collaboration the three of pentacles was this a business collaboration yes it was public recognition victory there was definitely something that she was going to be offered that was going to bring her back and reinstate her if on the proviso, I feel, let's just check that, on the proviso that she sorted herself out. Yeah, look, so be patient, successful, good news about financial matters, want to do something to that, that. So you've got the page of um, Earth, which is the page of Pentacles, which is concentrating on your career, concentrating on the money, keeping focused and going forward. So I feel like there was an opportunity that was being offered that as long as she sorted herself out on that side of things, on the addiction side of things. So, yeah.
Oh my God, she. I reckon if she had dealt with the addiction, she'll be back on form. So let's have a look at the solace. Tell me what happened that night, please. Have, have I got this right? Tell me what happened. Thank you. Bless her heart. Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She basically, that solace was her working her mind and wanting to move on. The Eight of Cups is about walking away from negative things that you just can't take anymore and moving forwards. And so I wonder if she, you know, she did possibly, I don't know, possibly would want to end the addiction as well. But to me, it felt like she felt she was in control of that. But she was very mindful at the time of her death of changing and letting go of things from the past or trying to let go of emotional relationships, emotion or anything that was negative in her past. She was desperately trying to move on from that and recreate herself and walking away from people, situations, perhaps even the addiction. However, she just couldn't because obviously we've got these six of swords somewhere, haven't we, where she was trying to move on and it, she just couldn't get rid of the addiction. I think that's the whole thing here. It really surprises me because I honestly thought she'd done it and didn't care. I really did. She didn't. She There was really positive things that were potentially coming to her. Anything else you want to tell me, please, before we wrap this up? Oh, my God. Just flew out. It's heartbreak. What surrounds her is total heartbreak. Three of air is the three of swords. It's the one with the three swords going through the heart. Do you mean heartbreak heartbreak of people around her it was i think I, i'm feeling like on an intuitive level that this um this was what's this one first queen of swords we started with the king of swords Okay, I got it. Yeah, I got it. So the heartbreak is, is that the people around her that loved her honestly thought this is it. She's, you know, we've got the death card. She's, she's letting go of everything from the past. She's trying to move on. She's going to try and reinvent herself. And I feel like she was trying to get rid of the emotional part of her life and try and sit. Bit. It's like, I love the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Air because she's like a truth seeker. She, she, she like cuts all the bullshit out and just goes for what she wants and doesn't allow emotion to get in the way. Um, which was where we started with the king. So she really did want to change. And the problem is with the heartbreak card, the three of air. She just broke everybody's heart because I honestly thought that they were going to get their Whitney back again. What a shame. God bless her heart. Well, I'm sure she's very happy now, free of her addiction in heaven. And um, no doubt he's just gracing her energy with anybody that wants to listen to her beautiful voice. So many legends like that go, don't they, in the same way. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, I will be looking at the news. I have been away, so I haven't really looked at anything that's relevant for the time being. Um, but I will do. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments below. Lots of love to you all. And remember, think good things, create good things, and they come back a hundredfold. Yes, they do. Speak to you soon.